Let's demonstrate a very quick and simple rubric uh, protocol for evaluating the sacroiliac joint on the right side and the left side. So the first thing I do is I place my index fingers on the iliac crests and my thumbs naturally fall to the PSISs. If you need to push in and around a bit to be sure, if your client has more adipose, then go ahead and do that. But this will always give you a ballpark for where the PSISs are. Once I find the PSISs, I drop directly medial on each side and I press with both thumbs downward and I see if it feels as if one side is more prominent than the other side. And I do feel more prominence on the right side than the left side of the sacral base. So two things could account for that. One might be the soft tissue and it could be that the longissimus iliocostalis multifidus coming down, the paraspinal musculature coming down, is tighter and thicker. So to evaluate that, I run perpendicularly across the fibers by strumming horizontally here. And I feel if it feels thicker on the right side than the left side. And it definitely does feel thicker on the right side here than the left side. So the increased prominence I feel on the right is either partly or all due to the increased thickness of myofascial tissue. But some of it could also be due perhaps to the sacrum being tilted a bit. So for that, what I do is I find the PSIS, I take the ulnar side of my hand or perhaps specifically the pisiform, and given that the sacrum is a triangular shape here, I need to be parallel with the lateral border of the sacrum here and I place my pisiform down on his sacrum on the right side of the base and I just challenge by dropping pretty much straight P to A posterior to anterior toward the floor. Then I do it on the other side and I feel how the joint responds there. Now I feel more of a bounce on the left side than I do on the right side. So that tells me that part of the issue of the prominence I feel is the sacrum being a bit tilted this way and not moving freely down parallel with the iliac bone the, at the sacroiliac joint. So now I have a sense that both the periarticular, extraarticular myofascial tissue is tighter and requires manual therapy, soft tissue manipulation, massage, and that the joint needs to be mobilized so that we can bring more motion into the right sacroiliac joint. After that, I very quickly go to the PSISs, and I like to place the PSIS into this groove between the thenar and hypothenar eminences here, right in this inter-eminential uh, groove right here, and I brace my contact, and I can press straight down and see how the iliac bone moves, the PSIS moves, compared to the other side. I feel more restriction on the right side. I might push a little more from inferior to superior toward anterior tilt compared to the other side, maybe a bit medial to lateral for the gapping, compare it to the other side. And then the final one is the actual plane of the joint inferior to superior, medial to lateral, posterior to anterior, and I go therefore go in that direction there, and I feel how the joint moves there, and I compare it to the other side. So a quick rubric to feel for the soft tissue of the joint as well as the joint mobilization itself, and we should add that with any of these compressions, if there were inflammation, irritation, a sprain of the joint, that would also show up as painful, which is another criterion that's important in addition to the mobility that we feel. Now let's take a look at this rubric, visualizing it with a plastic skeleton so we can better see the structure of the sacroiliac joints. I place my index fingers on the iliac crests. My thumbs naturally fall to approximately where the PSISs are. I search for them, I find them. After I find them, I drop directly medial in onto the sacrum on each side, and I feel to see if there's more prominence on one side versus the other. 
if I do feel more prominence, and with the client we just had on the table, I felt more prominence on the right side, then I look to see how much of that prominence is thickened, periarticular, extraarticular myofascial tissue, iliocostalis, longissimus, multifidus. So I strum horizontally, which would be perpendicular to this vertically oriented tissue. If I feel that that is thicker, then I know that part or all of the prominence is due to the soft tissue. Then I look to evaluate how much of the prominence might be due to the sacrum itself being tilted up and back, posterior, superior, on that right side. To do that, I need to challenge that side of the base of the sacrum. So I'm going to use either the ulnar side of my hand or specifically the pisiform. I come in medial from the iliac crest here. And because the sacrum is a triangular bone, I run in that parallel line to that border there. And I put my hand in here. I will brace my contact and I push down on the sacral base on that side in that direction. Then I do the other side and I feel to see the symmetry of a firm end feel but a bit of a bounce to it. If I feel that there's more resistance on the right side, then I know that the sacroiliac joint on the right side is a bit restricted and that is probably part of what the prominence is and or it might even be tilted back this way a bit and that's why there's more prominence on the right side. So now we have soft tissue and joint as part of it. After that, I go to the PSISs and I like to place the PSIS right in the intereminential groove. Right here, I brace my contact. I challenge the joint on the right side directly, posterior to anterior. I compare it with challenging it on the left side. I then add more anterior tilt by pressing from inferior to superior, and I compare it right side to left side. I then look at gapping by going medial to lateral, and I compare medial to lateral on the other side. Then I try pushing on the PSIS, an oblique plane motion that is a combination of the three I just did. Posterior to anterior, inferior to superior, and medial to lateral, which is directly in the plane of the joint. So I contact the PSIS and I do that oblique plane motion. And of course, I compare it to the other side. If you liked this video, know that it is part of our video streaming subscription service. Click the link below for more information and receive a free ebook when you sign up.